Hello, mate. Hello. Um, hello. I've actually decided to move house. Um, oh. Yeah, so... So I'm just a bit disorganized because I've been having a meeting about the house move and yada, yada. <clears throat> um, so I do apologize. I'm That's walking good. again, but here I am tonight. <clears throat> Yay, super. Are you on now or are you just let me know that you won't be joining today? <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm, I'm on the Zoom. I'll just be going back to my ordinary house. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, and if I if I become annoying or distracting or something, I'll just hop off Zoom. You know, I don't want to detract from the other people. No, that's all good. It's only me and you at the moment. I don't know where the other. I know that Eva can't make it. She's at some committee meeting. I'm hoping Amy's okay because I know that she wasn't well. Yeah, she went to hospital. Yeah, I think so. Um, Fairy Joy is a super fairy out and about there. I know, yeah. And fairy things. And I'm not sure what Carrie Ann's doing. She hasn't messaged me or anything, so um, I'm not sure. Was yeah, was there anyone else who started? I don't recall. But here, no, we just keep a, a group separate. So it's just those people that joined in at that time um, for those ones. And then uh, I've got some other people joining for 4th of July, which is the... Cool. Cool. Good on you. Yeah, so it should be good fun. Yeah, uh, um, what, is this our last or second last session tonight? Second last session tonight, yeah. Yeah. Um, so what's probably best? I'm just thinking... Uh, do you want me just to record another thing to send you all? Um, because it might yeah, I, I, I think like it's it, with all due respect, it's a bit of a waste of your time to be sitting here just talking to me. Yeah. Um, I don't have any news about parties. Yeah. Um, what I'll do then, I, I'll, I'll do a recording of yeah. uh, me and how I, I scrape for um regional shows and how I scrape for libraries and things like that yeah like, and I I would like to know really about how to get a first show I think um I'm feeling a bit desperate to get some shows I'm feeling desperate to get some shows booked or oh, moving house that's not going to happen soon mm. um yeah for me I'm in in the gray zone of like one I have to fundraise five thousand dollars to get a website and a fancy market marketing campaign and all that i can't really no i can't is not not the right word but the point is i just want to know how to if there's a way to get some bookings before i i go and spend all the overheads which i'm happy to do but i just don't have the liquidity to 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 build it and they will come i need some yeah. people to come who said it's five thousand dollars you shouldn't be paying five thousand dollars for it Oh, I've just I've looked at getting websites built or the hosting of things a thousand dollars. Like it's just all to get a great website, it's three to five thousand dollars. To get a shit one, it's five hundred to a thousand. And it's not really much difference. It's just it's just marketing. So don't yeah. so basically the ones in Australia, they they charge about five thousand dollars because we're Australian and we've got Australian petrol and Australian bills to pay. So yeah. I recommend it there. Um the the one which uh, that I recommend, which is the WordPress one, uh, I know I recently asked uh, my web guy how much it would cost to do that one. He said one thousand six hundred dollars. So yeah. that yeah, always go through Upwork. It's so much cheaper than going. They'll always try and sell you something. I, I remember trying to get a database made, uh, which I got made, and they wanted eighteen thousand dollars up front, and I got it made for about five in yeah. Australia, in uh, India. And uh, so yeah. this, this, it's always a, it's always a third, like two thirds cheaper than it is. Um, yeah, yeah. Really, the the ultimate thing is get your photos done. Um, yeah. And I've got I've, I'll um, I'm just doing it like a step by step because I realise that the the sort of modules are, are are fine, but some people just want it like as clear as crystal. You know, it's really so. It's literally get your photos done, um, and go on to your local community and say, hey, I'm giving away this $400 package for X, Y, Z. This is my photos here. Who do you know who would love who would love to do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the level of spelling out I need at this point. Yeah, and then go to your local agents. So have you um, if you contact all the local agents for your work, yep. like Amazing Kids Parties, Fly by Fun, there'll be all the local ones, just like me, which, you know, here in Brisbane, who will definitely... Yep, yep someone um and do your balloon twisting balloon twisting is the quickest and easiest thing to do apart from face painting but face painting takes its actual skill with balloon twisting is math you know it's like twist here go along twist yeah yeah so yeah um then right. 
the really the four things that you need to do. Um, yeah. Actually, to get and, and you, you've actually told me that before. So my brain is not listening. No, that's okay. My brain, yeah, he's making excuses, but um, it's one of those yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it. Sometimes your brain, and I know this as well because I do the marketing side. It gets it sort of thinks, oh, it must be harder than that, but it's really not. It's just like it's yeah. action that's the hardest bit. It's just actually going out there, yeah. getting your photos done. Your cousin's ones are really nice. Um, I probably get set get some more done where it's not a whole big, you know, you're just on a white. Yeah. Just the way I see it, show you in the course, um, yeah. and it's like you standing in front of a white thing when it's not boiling hot sun, um, like sort of dusk time, not dusk, yeah. but all dusk, like three p.m. and uh, and someone taking photos of you, and then you taking those photos, buying Canva. That's the only thing you really need to buy, and then um, doing um, what on earth is that? Putting them on the your photos is that. Uh, yeah, and putting them onto my photos just to, to zoop it up a bit. And then just doing a Facebook page. Really, you just need a Facebook page at this moment because because you need to fall in love with the the um, the um sort of shows first and yep. pay the 5000 You know, don't just don't pay $5,000. It's like, a, you know, one and a half grand is tops, really. But you can also do it yourself. But it depends how much time. That, time that, yeah, that's where it's just... It feels like I'm going into traps I've gone through before. It's like, all right, I've spent five thousand dollars on puppets and, and shite, and now I'm going to spend five thousand on a website. Then I'm going to move house, and then I'm yeah. going to get bored and do something else. But yeah, yeah. you're right with the start small. Do a Facebook page, push it out on the community. And one thing I've got to get um, used to is flogging things. I am a bit precious, and I'm a bit like, ooh, I'm an arty star. Yes. And I I just can't afford to do that shit in every way. Like I'm, I don't know. I don't want to be like that too, because it sort of says that I'm special or something. I'm I'm sick yeah. of that, you know. I just want to be normal. Emma, you're so lovely. You're so lovely. I wish you were from Brisbane. Uh, we knew we could mates. Um, yeah, I love Brisbane. It's such a down to earth town. Yeah, Sydney. If, if you come here every time, just let me know, okay? Yeah, um, I will for sure. Um, and yeah, just I think it is the sort of getting out of the artist. It's more commercial than art. Yeah. Art doesn't sell as much unless you're one of those really lucky people. Go Art doesn't sell full stop. I know that. I put on an exhibition last year. I'm doing one next year. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. But I just love the art as well. So, yeah. Um, oh, Kerry's, Kerry Ann's in there as well. Um, she's All right. Well, I'm going to hop off Zoom because right. it seems like we've kind of covered everything that's constructive. That's and, cool. yeah, if you make content tonight, that's a good use of your time. And if I get home, that's a good use of my time. That sounds good. All right. Yeah, so have uh, a lovely one, okay. Steph. See you uh, next week. Take care. Bye. Hello and bye, Carrie. Bye, Steph. Bye. See you. Hey, Carrie Ann, how are you doing? Oh, you're you're on mute. Can you hear me? There we go. All right. I just tapped to speak and it's we're all working out here. Yes, hello there. Hi, I had trouble trying to get in. I had to go back through my um, text messages to find the Zoom link oh. and get the code. Oh, no, sorry. It's pinned at the top of the um, the action takers thing, and then I sent another email oh. just in case uh, today. Oh, yes, I yeah. didn't check the email. I just went to the Facebook and the text. Oh, right, no worries. So, yeah, at least you got in. That's fine. Yay. I've just been chatting to Emma, but she's yeah. she's trying to move house at the same time. So um oh. uh, it's like, ah. Oh. And Eva, I think poor Amy might be still unwell. Um, yeah. um and Eva is uh at a committee meeting today. So it's basically me and you. Um oh, yeah, that's because oh, right. yeah. today's my birthday. Oh, day. oh, that's lovely. Oh, how, how oh, lovely. Nice. What are you doing? Have you done anything today for me? Beg your pardon, I didn't hear you properly. Have you done anything for your birthday today? I had a very quiet, relaxing day today. Um, spent it with my son. I went for a walk and just sort of, yeah, did nothing. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. It was, was just son? so beautiful. He's 16, nearly oh. 17. Oh, does he still work, live there? I'm guessing he a, does at 16. Yeah, yeah, he's still with me. Um, and, yeah, he's very much with me. I don't think he's going to leave for a while. <laughs> no. 
They can't really, can you? Just the prices of, you know, a million dollar house. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, everything's so expensive. It's ridiculous. Petrol here is like two dollars thirty five a litre. Mm, yeah. A joke. Yeah, it's mad. Yeah. Mm, uh, mm. Um, so I've just been talking, talking to um Emma just about uh she was like, Well, how do I start? You know, and I think it's sometimes when we we're talking about all this stuff and there's all this stuff, mm. you actually forget the basics of like what to do first. Yeah. Um, so I just basically said to her, you know, what you know as well, which is like, go to the Facebook pages, go to the, the just know the people that do do it already because you get yeah. so much work from that, don't you? Yeah. Just well, I just go to a lot of agents. Mm. Um, I was doing agency work this weekend past. I was like doing something for Fly by Fun. Oh, yeah. Um, something new that um, isn't that popular, glitter bars and... So, because I offer glitter bar, I thought, eh, I'll see what happens with it. Because I already have a tray of just glitter. And you just play. No, I do. It's like glitter tattoos. You mm. can offer the glitter tattoos, you know, the stencils. Yeah. And you have a special glue that you use and you tap in the glitter. They look lovely. But the glitter bar is more face. So, right. you have kind of like the gems. And then you use either pore pore cream or Vaseline. I use both of those made me because I know that there's not going to be any allergy mm. with either. Yeah. <laughs> so I use that and then I have a little thing that I put underneath the chin so I can tap in the glitter and all the glitter falls into that, not all over the floor and everything. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's yeah. really, that's really many do that over here. Yeah. Well, it's very popular. Big festivals have it and it's bio glitter. But bio glitter is really expensive. Like um, buy a little jar, it's like $10. Yeah. So you really need to go wholesale with it. Mm. Um, and you can buy from AliExpress the bio glitter. They yeah. have it. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Very, yeah, yeah. And you want the holographic one because it looks more effective. I love holographic glitter. So is that the same? Is that the normal face paint glitter? Or is that a different thing? Uh, it's different. It's a little bit more chunkier. Right. So you can see that it's like little tiny circles or hearts or they're in little tiny shapes. Okay. But I think the chunky glitter looks more effective. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's and awesome. then you, you can use those gems. Yeah. But you don't necessarily have to use the stickers. Mm. You can use um, glitter glue, which you, which can be removed with just an alcohol wipe yeah. or or you can use eyelash glue. Oh, okay, yes. Which is safe as well for skin. So, yeah, safety with the skin is a big one. Yeah. It's probably slightly cheaper as well, isn't it, eyelash glue, because there's so many of them and they're selling holes, you know, to commercial. Yeah. Easy yeah. to, like, Mecca or something like that. So Yeah, Mac, Mac is a big company. Yeah. But, like, you, know, you can just buy it through a cosmetic company mm. sale, yeah. fairly yeah. inexpensive oh nice so yeah so that was an exciting little gig because I just want to let share with you that what's happening at the moment here in Melbourne especially mm -hmm. you have the jumping castles and those little um, children's like play areas oh. which has all the soft play soft play yeah and the actual owners or the people who are hiring it out do not like face paint on oh, their equipment. Which is true because it must be such an annoying thing. But what's yeah. what's is there like some sort of like tiff? Yeah, yeah. Everybody's saying like we don't want any face painters. It's really interesting because it's actually changed the dynamics of the the, the younger kids' parties. Mm. Yeah, because the um I think the insurance company also has underwritten that you can't face paint children under three. Have they actually done that though? Because I know that um, in America, I see this all the time when people say this and there is no real, they just pretend. No, I know, but that's what's been going around. I haven't rang the company. I should actually, I'll make a note of it to ring them directly and ask. And I did read the actual, um, what do you call the, Terms? The outline, the terms and conditions, yeah, and it doesn't state anything in there. People, I've noticed, as I was saying to you as well, that, um, and you've probably seen this from your, you know, being in the business for a long time, they make stuff up and and then suddenly it becomes like, 
You think yeah. big, huge, and you're like, what's all the fuss about? Yeah, it yeah. just like, it's like, and then it suddenly becomes like a. I just heard that uh, apparently, like QAnon in America is believing that Tom Hanks is some sort of like paedophile and, and with Oprah, and and it suddenly becomes real because if all these other people believe it, because somebody's yeah, they feed it, they feed the energy, uh, and then it becomes so weird. So, it is weird. And I you know, you hear all sorts of like things like yeah. you just I've just learned to just like go mm, and just yes. keep it and don't feed it. Especially yeah. face painting lot as well. They seem to be particularly, particularly... Oh no, I face painters, oh. oh my gosh. There's just so many of them now. I, I remember when I first started. Yeah. I first started about twenty three years ago or something when the paint was like um Derivan in those little pots and oh, yes. all running. <laughs> There's oh. a lady up your way, um, Mary Chantal, I think her name is. Okay. She wrote a little book about face painting years and years ago. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's when I first started. And um, I don't know if you were aware, but um, I actually started to make my own little rainbow cakes oh. way before those one strokes came out. Yeah. And I was trying to patent it through an intellectual property lawyer. Right. And they just said, no, nah, you can't do that, Kerry Ann. You can't actually paint a rainbow because you're going to spend 20 grand. And then what will happen? They'll modify it yeah. by 15%. Yes. Change all the- and then, you know, what a waste of money. And I yeah. thought, yeah, well, the world can have it. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I, I yeah. heard it's crazy, isn't it? Doing the painting. It is. It is. So like, yeah. You know, you, you you can't really in our industry, you can't really protect your 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 intellectual property. Even, you know, someone would just come along and it's like I I've, I've just given up. I used to be protective, but now you don't. I just like go, whatever. Yeah. Good. Let everybody I think, use that because I think- it's better. Exactly. I think it's easier just to go like that and just make sure that you mark it well, you know, just be the yeah. market. Um, uh, Harry Houdini used to do something. Um, he, he used to create a play because in the UK there was a, did you hear, did you know about this? Of this thing? I might, Wait. I might, I haven't heard, but I know about Harry Houdini. He was a genius. Yeah. And he used to have his shows, but you couldn't, you couldn't patent like the magic tricks uh, so he used to put on a play with the magic trick in it, and then you know have the script sent show one like one person have it painted you know as a as the copyrighted that that was his play yeah, yeah, and then yeah. people couldn't then copy that part because it was in the play something like something weird like that and that's how we got around a lot of it again I don't know if that's true or not that's something which someone said like, probably as, as true as the the three under threes are getting face painted to be honest so you never know. <laughs> So, oh my god, I didn't realize. So then I just say, Oh, sorry, I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, but that's uh-huh. really clever. That's very clever. So, an easy way around copywriting now you can actually self publish, which is really easy now. Yeah, yeah, but I published my book probably about 10 12 years ago, mm. and the songs that I have in it. I registered them with APRA and, and um, yeah and I thought well how can I protect these songs without somebody coming along because the industry is renowned and just taking them away so that's why I published the book with the songs in it so I actually have a registered copyrighted nice. and have a proper book number yeah that's really good isn't it how did it work out for you is it like a big earner is it not much or well um it's hard to say I went overseas to Europe when I first released the book um I made a little bit of money probably around about five thousand dollars I sold a lot of books yeah and then just went quiet Mm. went dead and I realized you have to keep on it and you have to keep marketing yes yeah so being released at a lot of book fairs mm. and you've got to know your niche mm. so my book was a very unique it's a bit different um because the way it, the story goes I called it a sound journey really because I recorded a cd to go with 
but yeah, I'm, I've am i actually worked on another one and I've got about another three up my sleeve that I want to release, but I'll just... You're a big entrepreneur, aren't you? You've got your hands and everything, so that's great. Oh, well, <laughs> when you've been doing this for so long, you've got to just keep growing and evolving and what else can I learn? I'm, I'm like a big one on learning new things yes. and then helping other people like yourself, you know. Yeah. Help other people's to grow as well. Yes. Um, yeah, my my one is always in the marketing side, which I like growing in. Um, yeah. Hey, did you want to, I'm not sure if you've seen it. I was just talking to Emma about uh, if no one logged on and you logged on, um, I was going to show you them how to, how I scrape emails for um, regional shows because I've just been, Oh, yeah. my, my assistant who's still not very well at the moment he's in and out of hospital he's um he was sending out emails out. um and um yeah do you want me to show this to you yeah that would be lovely it's always good to know okay let's have a look my friend helen's always on my back she's like oh you're creative but you're not good at marketing <laughs> that's oh. true oh, with the hard bit isn't it okay let's have a look so um, what I normally do is I have, uh, let's have a look, where are we? So I have like a document here, um, just in my Google Drive. It's just got all of the lists of who we message. Um, and on here is the shopping centers. So that, and the, the way I get all so these. Is that a database? Like a yeah, database. Just a, it's just a normal spreadsheet. Uh, and then what we do is to, because we've got to make sure that we can keep going on at them, we have a just a normal shared uh, calendar, Google calendar. And just oh, when yeah. okay. shows or different shows going on, um, he will put these in. So, for example, it's the Fates and Festivals. We do these in, Mar in March. You know, like we put all these in. We won't put them in March. Uh, well, we'll put them in March, but what we'll do, because they'll always come around the same time of year, is we will start advertising for them in October. You know, just yeah. so that big, big... Six months prior. Yeah. Yeah, usually about four months, I, I find. Uh, I've just got a show for oh, it's September, October, so maybe June, July, or September. Yeah, about four months for Redcliffe uh, Kite Festival. And then I've just been booked mm. for another festival in... And the 21st of, February, uh, of September. So it's about four months out, five months, something like that. Um, so then he'll message them and see. But what, what I do is how I get all of these this details of these people is I go into... Uh, oh, you get the email. Yeah, and... I literally type in regional shows because there's always a list of these things. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know. I was just going to say to you, years ago, it was probably around about eight years ago, I used to get the book sent to me of all the festivals in Victoria. Oh, did you? I don't think yeah, it was awesome. very interesting. Um, I don't know if they still have it. They probably not have books because it must be expensive. But, um, yeah, so they've just be got online now. Um, and what I normally do is we go through them and uh, just double check what type of entertainment they would be, what type of entertainment they would have um, on there. And then, you know, take one of those shows which they're listing and try and find the Facebook page, which is what yep. I've done. And then go to the, then go to the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And find the content. About, yeah, in about. Um, We've got the that that there as well. And mm. what I sometimes do if it works is take that and bracket it like this. Uh, you know, the little sort of, I can never yep. remember. And then it'll say something like contact the team. Uh-huh. And you've got and more then it's the details, like mobile phone number. Um, stuff like that. Because yeah. so you get more details, so you can actually contact them here. So I'm pressing control F. And then I'll paste it so I can see um, yeah. who the person is who's going to be sort of, you know, in charge of it. Um, okay. How how often is that accurate? It won't be like, accurate. 
enough. But this email address will most likely be accurate because all they'll do is they'll just change the person over. Yeah, yeah. So the this the phone number may not be correct, but also these people they're quite um, you know, there's a small community in these places. Yeah. It's usually some yeah. brothers, sisters, mother. So they'll be like, Oh no, I'm not the person anymore. You have to talk to John or Donna. Um Yeah, usually it's like that, yeah. Yeah. So they're all they've all got their mobile. So they'll literally just send you the phone number of it. Entertainment officer John Wright, so you can literally phone up John. They're usually older people as well who are doing it for free. Um, Is so, that like with Lions Clubs and Rotary yeah. and things like that? Yeah, that's right. And the Lions Clubs and the Rotaries, they always choose. I mean, I work for the Maruka Lions Club every single year. I do two shows. With them. Mm. For the past, past 15 years, I just think that's a lot of, you know, if you advertise, if you try and get work for a birthday party, that's two shows really done. But if you get if you go for the the Lions Clubs and you find the person there and you get to know them and um and they get you work like at the local park they always have those special like community, yeah. Yeah. community. I remember the big family fun days. Yes, exactly the family fun days. That's what I work for, and they don't change because they know it's easy because you're yeah. you're you turn up and uh, it's local and yeah it's nice and easy. It's a plus, it's a then, plus. yeah definitely a good one. Yeah, and on top of that, you're not just marketing to 30, you're marketing to three, you know, usually about, I say yeah. it's usually about sort of 70 that turn up, so you get more children in your area as well, so. Yeah. In Melbourne, they're huge, those oh. type of events, mm. and they usually do them, do you have them also in suburbs? like? Yes, yeah. So I want the local one that I get. So you get loads of them. Another one which is great to go for is the counsellors. Because the council yeah, the constantly open up, and they've got loads of money. Uh, mm. Always opening up different parks or clean this park up day, and then we've got entertainments and yeah. yeah. I used to go for a lot of councils. Mm. I just, I started working um, years ago. I I was helping a council, the city of Stonington, mm. to put together their children's area, their kids zone. So. Um, because I used to be an events coordinator before I got into entertainment. Oh, yeah. Myself. Yeah. So I used to help them run different areas and, yeah. So because kids' entertainment was not really a big thing mm -hmm. back in the day. Yeah. And then just over the last 20 years, everything's yet focused around children and it's so good. Mm, yeah, it is good. Now let's have a look at your competition as well. What's your... Um... What's your, have you ever got any competition at all? Like, <laughs> Loads of competition. Who's the best, who's the one who you think? As well, you know, the, my business name is Creative Kids Parties. All I have is an Instagram page. I have a Facebook, which is connected to my Instagram. Yeah. Like I changed, I had to, because I had a divorce, I had to change my business name. So it did put a spanner in the works. And then I stopped working for about, three three and a half years yeah so like there's so many people so I don't really have like a business like I work for myself I yeah. subcontract myself out to agents and other people um and if work comes to me which it usually does yeah. I'll just pass it on mm. I don't but who's the com <laughs> who's the the big wigs down in your area in my area, who am I up against? Let me see. That's one. We're just going to use Tim, a. Is that sorry? Tim and Tam. Tim and Tam. They're oh, probably Tim very Tam. big in magic. Yeah, let's have a look. Tim and Tam. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They're big in magic, and so is Anthony DeMassi, who's big in magic. Okay, let's have a look. Tim and Tam. Okay. But I love them both. They're actually. That's fine. You know, um, as a. Ex term magic um i'm just showing just because of this is going to go to other people as well um yeah uh i'll show you this is it tam kiki kiki the clown or she i think she changed her name she did didn't she okay let's go have a look yeah. okay so um, yeah acts of kindness i think it's called that's right the reason why tim credible there we go yeah. um, 
You'll have a look and see. It's, if you can. it's pretty good. So I'm going to go to Facebook here. And what you can do just for advertising sake is you can go to, if they're running any ads, you can see. So you can go to about page transparency. Mm. And it's not running ads. So, for example, I'll show you my one of mine. Royal, my Royal Parties is one of my competitors. Nice nice company, great lady. She always helps us out if there's ever, ever a problem. Um, so my Royal um like with other people who are your competitors, you still got to have a relationship with them and be amicable. And you yes. know, a lot of those people, um, I see them at many places. Yes, but this is what I'm doing is talking about the marketing side. So, if we go to my royal party, yes, this is um, oh, yeah. this is the um other company in Brisbane, and um, if you go to about, and you go down to. Just talk about sort of Facebook advertising, really, trade transparency. It says this page is currently running ads. And you can see what advertising is working for them by yes. going to here. And I've say, never advertised. I don't advertise. No. Advertising page. <laughs> Go to ad library. Yes. And then you can see what what um adverts they're they're running at that moment. So they're running a carousel, which is this one here, where it moves all along. And you can see what sort of um, text they're using as well, um, yep. which helps, you know, if you ever do want to do advertising or know what they're sort of they're trying to sell um, mm -hmm. or if they're doing a discounts, um, you can see on those. Um, yeah. I've been thinking about it, Steph, like setting up the business again as me being the boss and having – people under me like younger people going out and working like it's what you do yeah. and I'm just like I think of the stress levels it is a stress level I wouldn't recommend it yeah. um, if, I was, yeah. if I was in your situation for this I wouldn't recommend it but I would definitely recommend boosting my uh, brand up as in like making yourself look this is you know this is uh, Tammy isn't it and um, yeah. and she's really if I if I've heard from her up, up here in Brisbane, then she's doing well with her thing, and I don't think they have any people going out for them. Do they? It's just like the I think they did they split up. I can't remember now. Um, yes, they did split up. Okay, yeah. They so they're um you know she's she split up with him, and they're going off doing the same thing. But she's got like the the whole thing going on, and I'm sure, um, you know they're both good at marketing, aren't they? But they're both very good at marketing. Yeah. They, they were, I, I don't know, they actually, from what I remember, she joined some organisation and then she did coaching and things like that mm. and then her business took off. I guess she met the right people to assist her on her journey. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think it's really more about, like Anthony DeMass, I mean, I know him too. I mean, all yeah. These it's not He's a good friend of mine, Anthony, but mm -hmm. yeah, he gets around. He does a lot of different things. Like he, I think he's the the magician at Warner Brothers. Hmm. That's up on the Gold Coast near you. He's up at the Gold Coast now. He goes up to the Gold Coast often to oh, do okay. performance. Yeah, oh, for the Warner see. Brothers. Yeah. Um, I see. Did you do any work for them for Warner Brothers? Movie yeah. World. No, I find that Warner Brothers, because my, my market is the birthday party market, mm -hmm. um, I like getting in and out. And yeah, yeah. If you I go to Warner that. Brothers, you, it's a different type of show. They want more of the stage stuff where the kids are there and I'm here. Um, I they, know. I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? Um, so that's mm -hmm. one. Plus, you go in there, you've got to pay, like, you've got to charge a minimum of $700 at least, you know, to, just to do one. They're, 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 they're bitty um, because they won't have you back all the time. It's just not what I, I chase. Um, I yeah. chase McDonald's. You know, I chase as many people out as possible um, yeah. rather than yeah. just um, doing the show. Yeah, I think, think, think kids' parties are more lucrative than those stage shows anyway. Well, I know a lot of people who do them and they always come back to the, yeah, the kids' parties. Yeah. Um, there's yeah. a... The guy who uh, is in Sydney, who used to be in Sydney, and um, 
he said, I just started doing kids parties again because the stress of constantly packing a suitcase to go on the 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 corporate thing mm -hmm. of hiring. So yeah. So that's how to you that's how to sort of look at advertising. I'd only recommend really, I'm gonna go to just because we're chatting now and um the the other people are gonna watch this as well. So I've got to make something so that we're all in on yep. the same boat. Um the the other thing that I'd recommend is this as well. So I wouldn't recommend doing Facebook advertising, um, but I really would recommend doing ads, Google ads. And there's a lot yep. of now where if you sign up for it, they'll give you the first sixty dollars for free. But really, it's not it's not much. So yeah. anyway, that's something. Yeah, it's something. So, but the only the 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 thing to do with this one is to make sure that when you're doing the advertising that you're you've got a website that's ready and prepared and looks good otherwise they'll click on it and then it'll just click off. but yeah i know i'm working on that i'm working on some photo shoots like to to show and to show all the workshops that i do because i used to work for the australian leisure hotels and i used to run a lot of their kids activities right. like from from doing um we used to do disco and dance we yeah. used to do craft workshops face painting balloon twisting themes you know but i used to do all of that mm. yeah and it was very stressful mm. i think that's why i sort of steered away for it for a little while um and i'm just like contracting myself out but i'm they've approached me they want me to do uh, a magic show for halloween oh nice so, yeah if so you, I've got a few uh, hotels. The start of going to um, agents is perfect. This per that's a start, but I don't think that you should be feeding them because all you're doing is you're going to get less money from them and the, they won't want you to give your card out. So don't. So I can't grow. Yeah. You, you're, you've got this, you've got this whatever. I've gone backwards. I've gone backwards instead of forwards. I was ahead of my game oh. and then. Yeah, now yeah. I've gone backwards. And I'm really acknowledging that and I'm looking at and reviewing everything mm -hmm. and I'm building a, a strategy where I can step forward and feel comfortable and confident by doing what I'm doing because everyone else is going to be like, oh, Carrie Ann's la, la, la. You know how everyone sort of talks. Yeah. What is she doing? Yeah. Oh. But um, I have every right to be in the industry, um, you know, I do my job just as well as most people. Yes, exactly. So. But I think really you you got to sort of get into the advertising side, although it costs a lot. But but the thing is, you're not just going to get stuck just doing that one gig and not being able to give your business card out. Um, yeah. You can you know you can get your own stuff. Um, yeah, but that's what I'd like to do. That's what I want to do. I just want to grow, but I don't want to be huge, you know, just, you know, within my um, area here in Melbourne's fine. To go national would be a headache. I just, yeah. And just really, enough. You, go. you don't need, Melbourne's massive. You yeah, know, I, I don't go anywhere. I had a um, a guy in down in Sydney and, and we worked together because he doesn't come up here and I don't go down there. And we, we both say people, you know, we 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 see all the big companies, you know, the bigger ones, but they're always usually giving out trash shows, and we just don't want the hassle, the constant, you know, the the constant emergencies is always from the bigger, the bigger, you know, agencies. Yeah. They're not really bigger. Like they're, amazing kids parties. They're just taking Skype. They're only bigger because they're marketing bigger, but the yeah. people that they're having are just subpar people mm -hmm. because they can't train them mm -hmm. up. That's, they're just the turnover's too fast. So yes. that's why they're always calling on me. Can you help us with the balloons? We really need you. And it's like, well, yeah. you know, I don't want to work for peanuts. It's like, no, I kind of like it's degrading. They do. They try and give you they try and get you down low. Um, unless it's an emergency, then you sort of go, no. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but I just want to show you this this here because this is important to because I don't want people to think that, that advertising is great, but also it's crap at the same time. And you've got to, what I didn't realize when I started to advertise, especially with a bigger budget, is that sometimes you'll have crap days, which will just want you to turn it off. 
but sometimes you'll have good days. And like I said, with the lifetime value of the client. So this is just for today, right? So it looks good. $13 for per conversion. Now that's just a lead. So that's somebody messaging us and saying, yeah. hello. Now that one of those, let's go do the math on here. Hopefully this will bring up at the same time. Ah. $13. So if they don't follow through yeah. that lead, if they don't book a party, you're yeah. still going to pay you $13. Yes, that's just for the click. Uh, that's just for the click. So yep. um, that's why it's important. I'm just going to get here. Hold on. Um, forget it. I'll just do it on my, my thing. I can't get it on the right time. So $13. I'm just going to work out this for the moment. i tell you what, I'm going to do it with a different one. So Because I want to show you what the difference is. So $13 is today. That's good. Because one in six. So if you've got, I've spent 67 dollars for five conversions okay so possibly one of those will will convert to five i always say one in six so that actually converts and we have a thing called hubspot which is a crm yeah. which is basically okay. it's it's a harder thing i probably wouldn't recommend it because you can track it by your because you're the only person picking up the phone but when you start to get other rate uh, you know virtual assistants and stuff and they're picking up the phone you get sort of lost but really all you've got to do is just tick which ones did it and you can just see which ones you know ring the ones and you can see if your money's worth it or not um yeah. but say for example i was 67 dollars uh so it's 13.59 times by six so that would have been 81 dollars. so for one sale i would have got 81 i would have got 81 dollars roughly for a sale so that 81 dollars it's is you know coming out of say three hundred and fifty dollars, right? So it sounds like a lot of money because you think, why would I do that? Um, but then again, if you get another sale from there, which usually you do, either the birthday party kid or yeah. somebody else there, then it gets reduced to forty. Yeah. So it's only twenty dollars. Yeah. So it's, it's just, much better. Yeah, I, I I agree. This is um, the problem. look at yesterday. Okay. This is what happens when you're working when you're doing advertising you'll get 80 dollars. you'll spend 80 for two and a half conversions now yet just only a couple of hours ago that was one and a half conversions so somebody's gone back in and clicked yeah um, for another conversion for, from yesterday because it tracks for like you know i think it's 30 days oh, yep. so you never you look at it and you freak out ah, i've just spent 79 dollars on two people emailing me um the extra half an hour, the extra half is, uh, I can go into a bit, it'll take too long and it's boring, so I won't go into that bit. Um, but it's two. Now, but the thing is, when you go to 30 days, it, it equals itself out again, because it's all, all the people have like, you know, gone away, they've gone on their phone, they've gone off, then they thought, I've really got to go onto that sort of, um, you know, buy a blow, stupid fairy or magician or anything like that. And then they go on again, and then the cookie, clicks it that they've clicked onto the thing so the longer you the longer you look at it usually the ease the easier it is to see that it's actually worth it you can't look it's like my friends do like if i look at the last seven days it's 14 dollars 80 um and if you do it this way you know i've cost one and a half thousand dollars just for for 30 days but I've got 98 conversions. So if I do 98 divided by, say, even if I divided by seven equals, if I was working for myself times by, I say, I'll, I'll make it like 275, even if they had a discount, I get $3,800 work back from that. Yeah, so from that thousand. Yeah, you've gone out, you've spread yourself yeah. and, You've given out all those business cards. You've marketed again because you've done a good job and you've you know you look good. Then that money is going to hopefully get more money. So it's it's that sort of like opening up your funnel to other people. You see what I mean? Yes, I do. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to know that if still business cards work. I used to be yes. really big on business cards. Yeah, and I've noticed now here. A lot of people aren't using the business cards. They're using those QR codes. It's like um, they will have them. They have an enlarged version of that QR code on their case or part of their, I don't know, display. 
they always say you have to do like in all the marketing books that I read, they say you just have to do more. That's the only that's the only way you sell, you know. So get the QR code and get the business card because the QR codes, like as you said, you can get free QR code from Canva or wherever. Um, yeah. What was the place that you said that you got yours from? I can't remember. Instagram. What Instagram give you a, a free um qr code so you can make that put it on your thing and then you're given the option for the younger people who do qr codes but the older people like me who've got three children in the exact bracket two twin five-year-olds and seven-year-olds i'm not going to go for a qr code and stand there like an idiot doing this trying to make it work you know yeah. i need to get a business card but the thing is what you have yeah. to do is you can't just keep the business cards you have to give them out now yes. When you give out to business cards, sometimes the kids aren't even there. So I recommend giving out. I don't even think they give like stickers. Don't really work. They get they work for the kid getting a sticker, but you have to have something where. I used to use another method. Would you like me to tell you? Yeah, sure. I used to finish a party with a treasure hunt. Oh and yeah. In my in my treasure box, it was like they would find the treasure. In the treasure box used to be a rolled up coloring sheet. Oh, with yeah. a little lollipop mm. so they would want the lollipop yeah it's kind of crazy but the coloring sheet had all the details on it, mm. and they would take it over to mum and then they'd go home so that's my son and they'd go home and color in their coloring sheet and then they'd put it on the fridge or something exactly yeah so, I think yeah. coloring sheets are perfect you know something where it's got your name on it um mm. it's not going to chuck away because you know what it's like I got it from you know the fairy and they, they want to keep it. Um, they want to keep it forever yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. True. slowly try and throw it in the bin when they're asleep but at least it's something which it's it's got a longevity but a yeah. bit, business cars have still have a lot of longevity but they get chucked in the thing but it's more of the they're so cheap they're so cheap compared to most other things and that's the best thing about them um and they're literally but you can't just have them in your box for someone to come along and go have you got a business card that's why we have magnets and the magnets work really well because it's it you give them out with, to the children without looking so pushy that you're giving them a business card out um uh, so those they keep, that, yeah. well. they keep that and put that on their fridge they do. Well, some people do i remember i tried that i've tried lots of different things over my years Mm. <laughs> industry but i do say those magnets would probably work really well um the best form of advertising is when you're in a when you do like a hotel and there's a group and it, you've got the hotel supporting you also with advertising yeah that's always good uh also with hotels as well if you go to the hotel and say look we can do a deal like a you know you phone them up and you say we can do a sort of deal we work i tell you what the best thing for advertising this is i've noticed that we get an awful lot of work and this was just unintentional is we i give the people that give me some work at regularly um like there's a company called everton park hotel and you, you get friendly with these people and you actually chat to them you know the, the managers and i gave him a hamper and now wherever he goes, whichever company he goes to, he books us there for the thing. And I think it's that whole reciprocal, you know, I'm just reading, reading about the reciprocity. Everybody does it, but it's so, it's, uh, I actually made that hamper for him. And I think it was more the homemade thing that he liked more. Um, and just saying, card saying, thank you so much for supporting me. It means a lot to my family. Da, 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 da. And seeing you as a person, that, that's been a massive big earner. And I don't do it. Obviously, I don't do it like, on purpose. I do it because I care about them. Yeah, because you want to. You want to, yeah. I see your point. Um, that's a lovely thing to do. But having personal touches like that always make it, uh, it, makes it warm. And yes. people want to work with you. you yeah, know? they do, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the etiquette is really good. I think other one, another one I did was uh, make a big bunch of flowers for a um, a lady and then she had me for five she only had three children she had me five times um and it's again it's that sort of connection that they feel you know i, I read um yeah. godin's is a marketer uh, seth godin's tribe and um it's all about how to get people to be su sort of super 
to your fans. Um, and it's really about them liking you as a person. They don't care about the magic. You could be a rubbish magician. Look at look at Tommy, Tommy, um, Tommy Cooper. I mean, he was funny, he was a comedian more than a magician. But um, people loved him for him. Um, he was old, he big, you know, it wasn't particularly pre present looking, you know. But he was so lovable, wasn't he? And I think it's more about yeah. that you, they, you sell you the as a personality. Person. Yeah, the personality does make a difference. Yeah. You know, I know a lot of people in the industry. I talk to a lot of them. Um, who knows what they say behind closed doors? I don't know. Yeah. But I'm always really courteous and polite to people. And I just, I don't want to say anything negative. So I think everybody just like has a neutral, like, oh, yeah, there's Carrie Ann, you know, whatever. Hmm. Some people, I, like there was a stage I was going through, which I'm, uh, I used to be always running late for some reason. Oh, yeah. It was, it was just one of those things. I was going through my divorce and was always running late. And I was like, oh, there's nothing worse than feeling silly. Like, yeah. for, you know, you start off feeling, oh, no, guilty because you mm. were late. But, yeah. Um, then I would turn it around all the way. <laughs> so I would do that little bit extra just to turn it around. Yeah. Yeah, and then people would be like, oh, that's really good. Thank you. Yeah. That was, you know, I'm glad you're here. Yes. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. On time is important. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I know. Um, <laughs> I'm, a big, uh, I'm big on that now, but back then it was just so difficult because I was a single parent trying to juggle everything. Yeah, it must be so very, very hard. Yeah, don't know how people well, do it um so yeah so if you i'm going to show you as well because we've only got five minutes three minutes left i'm going to show you the back of this too um so we have got where are we campaigns so i have been running this for years you know this this is my last i've so you try not to have as many campaigns as possible but um because otherwise i'll show you that um, so did you do marketing at uni no, I just got into it because I realized there's no money in entertainments. There's money in marketing. You know, you can make yeah. entertainment marketing like money, but get into digital marketing if you like marketing. I did university. I did um, advertising at uni, but it was like a, a six month -er, um, when I was in Florida, but mainly performing arts. Um, hmm. But, you know, get, Google wasn't around when I went to university. It wasn't like. I know. It's such a. Hotmail and, you know, Emmett and. No, it was artificial yeah, at that time. So, yeah. So I want to learn some artificial intelligence. I want to connect with that and see what that is all about because it looks really interesting. It does. I think really, I mean, I'll show you, show you something which um, I'll just show you this quickly. But if you can see, like my my uh, my magician thing is cost per conversion $31 for conversion. So mm. this is what I'm saying, like don't go into ads. Ads are so important if you can get your website correct uh, and this is how I've I've sort of scaled because of the ads but and I do I do Facebook and Google ads but Facebook is for as I said when you've when there's a date that you've got and Google ads is when the person's got a date um so but with this sort of thing you've got to make sure you know what you're doing and so this is why I have a tutor every single week just to make sure um to say this and I can ask him questions because otherwise you're literally throwing, I mean, look at that, $40 a conversion um, in the last 30 days. Yeah, you really need to know what you're doing. I thought that to actually Google, I thought you would um, have a certain amount you can buy, like $100. This is just an example. And so you have that budget of $100 and then they, click on and they go to your website and whether if they like it or not they make the inquiry um then they deduct the money and i thought it was like that um it seems different i don't yeah, know why it's, it's always in the click so the cost per impression so you can go on there and have all the impressions that's free but the problem is if you don't get any clicks they will give you that you get this thing called a um I can't see it on this side at the moment. You get a um it's probably inside here, um a quality quality score. It looks just like this, it says quality score, eight out of ten, something like that. And um and on there, 
that's when if they start seeing that you're not converting to a click um mm. then they'll drop the quality score down but also they know what's already on your web page as well from the google bots so they can also see uh if your web page looks crap oh. sort of is not good um yeah i understand i think uh, a while back i had a google website i got something made trial it and the person who actually built the website was running it and the SEO, search engine optimization, yeah. and um, they could view everything. And they would say, uh, organically, just by searching this, you know, you're doing quite well. But um, people are clicking on you mainly because, and they would give you the, the reason why and tell you, um they're searching for a specific type of party say tea party yeah and that's where you're getting most of the, the clicks yeah so i'll just let's show you this one the, the today so if i go into this one here i've got uh oh yeah, enabled enabled so four clicks at four dollars i'm just going to go to that because then i've spent 17 dollars on that one um yeah. on that one okay so what you can do is three dollars conversions. You go to there and you go to I don't know, bear with me. Go to the ad group there. You go to these are all my keywords for the Elsa one. That's what I was going to ask you about um, the specific keywords. So yeah. if they're googling a word, then that picks up and then it takes you to your website. It does, but it also doesn't. If you're See, I'm on a broad match at the moment because the, the cost per click is a lot cheaper. Uh, usually it's $2.64.20. It's still quite high for, for that. Um, but with the type of bidding that I'm on, it's it's um, usually cheaper. If I go to here, highlight all of these and go to search terms, mm. search terms shows me. Oh, sorry. Shit, oh, wait a minute. It must have been from the other day. Hold on. I'm going to go to the last 30 days. Okay, so search terms tells me who's, you know, on this Elsa broad, what they've been doing. And then you've got to go scrolling through them and make sure that every single one is appropriate. And if they're not, then you've got to take it out. But actually, I think because I've I've done gone through this already, um, they they all are. You know, I've I've counted. What, what, what would be regarded not appropriate? Things like so I'll just show you my um keywords, my negative keywords. So I keep keep them in a list. Um and that's on the course as well. So the list is on the course. So I go to here. Yep. Mickey Mouse, for example. So Mickey, we've got like um, say for example, it says Mickey Minnie Mouse. We've got like a Minnie Mouse costume, but as soon as you put Minnie Mouse, then in here, you need to have these little square brackets because it just means they've typed in mickey mouse only which means that they're probably looking for the actual mickey mouse not mickey mouse entertainment so anything like this army man i mean we've got an army man party but it has to say party so as soon as they type in army man and then press search I, I don't want that because they're probably looking for some google image of army man. yeah you have to probably have the party on the end i get it yeah, yeah. so anything which has got army man and they don't put party on it i tip it's it's negative um yeah. So you get that. Then you've got things like um, dinosaur for kids. I noticed yeah. this wasn't converting because it was more like dinosaur for kids, you know. Like a toy. Could be a dinosaur. Yeah, exactly. Toys, that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Clown noses, all these sorts of things come up. So you've just got to, yep. yeah. Um, yeah. Elsa froze it. These are all like little bits. So it sounds like it would be, but it doesn't have the party or the birthday side on it. Yeah, or celebration, the word, like all the different cinnamons that um, relate to party, like celebration, birthday, etc. That's it. And broad is is a you have problems with broad sometimes, but um, it's usually cheaper as well. It really is one of those try it and see. But you need the person, the fifteen dollar an hour person. I know, I know, a guy. You could even have my guy if you wanted to have a go for it. And they go through it and, um, you know, when it's when it starts to go, yeah, every week, you don't want to do it more than every week because otherwise it becomes too 
you need the data to get the information. Otherwise, you'll be changing it all and just like, say, shove it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I definitely recommend going and trying out Google Ads, but do not try it without somebody else, you know. Uh, Expert. <laughs> yeah. And you can get them usually for free, but I recommend get to buying your own because they're $15 US and the guy will stay with you. Whereas the other ones who are free from Google, um, they'll, you'll see them and then they'll disappear. And you need someone who knows the, the account. But do not ever go with an Australian company who does this ever because they charge an absolute fortune and then they don't do... Um, they, what about Indians? Indians are very good with the oh, Indians very good. Oh, my, my guy's Indian. Um, but you need someone who you're, who's going to teach you because the yeah. money's in the marketing, whatever you do. So you need to know oh. how um, money. You in- should have some free courses on their marketing. They usually have a whole lot of free free courses, but that's if you've got the time to. Exactly. That's what you don't want to do. Is you don't You don't need... A whole massive, unless you're into marketing and you just love it like I do and you're just reading books on marketing, that's fine. But if it's just to do your kids entertaining, don't, don't, you don't need to write the, you don't need to cook, like learn, learn of all the cookbooks in the world just to get, just to cook a pie. Yeah, just gotcha. get the recipe rather than, yeah. you know, all that sort of stuff. Get the guy, he'll know what to do and, um, and do it that way. Yeah. All right, we'll leave it there. Um, okay, that's great. Get, great. Great information. Thanks for yeah, sharing that. Thank you for coming along. And um and I'll send that uh, I don't know what what we're uh, what was I gonna say? I think I can't remember if there was anything else we had to do today. Nothing I else. haven't actually opened up I haven't actually had the time, but I will I've got a I've got tomorrow and Wednesday free and I can sit down and go through a few things on your course there Lovely. and read. Um, like I said, I'm planning to do some photo shoots um, yes, photo shoot to, to demonstrate. Yeah. I, I got a, I had a, a video photographer at an event and I didn't hire them. That was the people who were having the party. I asked if, oh, could I get a copy of some of that footage that they'd just taken mm. and I'm prepared to pay for it. Yeah. And he said, yeah, sure, I'd love to. So that's really helpful. I think it also helped, but I mean, the most important ones are the ones with you and the kids together. You know, yeah. they're going, ah, ooh, because the one yeah. you, um, you know, dressed up, you, I don't think there has to be that um, amazing. Because like on the photo course, have a look on the photo bit. Um, I literally do it in a white background and then crop, crop it and put it on Canva and it looks great, you know. Yeah. So, so you do create your own backgrounds. My assistant does it, the one who's sick at the moment. So oh. yeah, that's all on Canva. Those templates are all for you as well. So you can go on mm. there, edit the template, and then put yourself into there. Um, oh, okay. So that I'm one. Gonna, I'm gonna, I've kind of have some time to read it and go through it. And yeah. I'll let you know if I get stuck with anything. Yeah, it sounds good. All right, thank you, Anne. I will see you next week. Yeah, thank you. Have a lovely night. Thank Take you care of yourself. Bye, bye, bye. Bye.